<clears throat> All right. Uh, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find uh, three consecutive integers uh, whose sum is negative 114. So first thing we need to do is we need to understand what consecutive are. And if I was going to write consecutive numbers, let's say this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Consecutive numbers are numbers right next to each other. So 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6. These are all consecutive numbers. They consecutively uh, round, go to the next number. Now the next thing is find three consecutive, I don't think I wrote this down right. Yes, I didn't. Let's call it even numbers. So let's do three consecutive even numbers. So therefore, I need to do two, four, and six. All right. See how these are consecutive even numbers? There are even numbers right next to each other as far as the next even number would be consecutive. So what the problem is asking is I need to find three numbers. Now, when we're doing a word problem, we need to make sure we understand what the first is, what the question is asking. This says we need to find three consecutive even numbers. That means my answer, I'm going to have to have three even numbers. Um, the next thing is when we're trying to find a word problem, we're going to have to distinguish what, a, what we want to solve for. So I'm going to say, I'm going to make an x. And I'm going to say, what does x want to equal? Well, I can't have x equal all three of those numbers because, you know, if I just said x plus y plus z equals negative 114, how do you solve for one of those variables? So it, what we want to do is we want to create one variable, have that represent um, something, and then relate the rest of our unknowns to that one variable. So if that's kind of not making some sense, let me see if I can explain it this way. Let me see if I can show you. Let's have x represent um, x equals the first even number. So let's say x equals the first even number, all right? So let's just say it's x. Well, if you guys know, understand what consecutive numbers are, to go from my first number, let's say first number here is 2, to get to my next number, I have to plus 2, right? So if my, my first number is x, my next number would be x plus 2, right? That would be 4. And then I have to add 2 again to get to 6. So then my third number would be x plus 4. All right, now in here, in this example, my first number was two, but I don't know what my number is. I don't know what my first number is, that's why we gave it x. Now it says the sum of them, so sum is gonna tell me addition, so I can write x plus x plus two plus x plus four equals, now I ran out of room, equals negative 114, all right? I can combine my like terms. Subtract six. So x equals negative 120, divide by three. And what I get is x equals a negative 40. Now the next thing we need to do is that was sort of x equals. So therefore, my first number is negative 40. Um, however, remember, if x equals negative 40, then the next number is going to be negative 40 plus 2, which will give me, so I can say my first number, let's just write over here. So my first number is going to equal negative 40. My second number will be negative 40 plus 2 which is equal to a negative 38. And my third number is negative 40 plus 4, which is equal to a negative 36. Therefore, the three numbers, consecutive even numbers, that add up to negative 114, there would be negative 40, negative 38, and negative 36.